Hi everyone, my name is Mina Ho. I'm an application scientist at Park Systems. I would like to introduce you to the Park NX10 Scanning Ion Conductance Microscopy System for nanoscale image of samples in liquid. Today we will be using SICM to image the topography of collagen fibrils. The PARC NX10 SICM is a cutting-edge breakthrough that focuses on using nanopipettes to perform truly non-invasive in liquid characterization of samples across many different applications. A very exciting application for SICM is in electrochemistry. Here, SICM is combined with techniques such as scanning electrochemical microscopy to examine the surface reactivity of various materials and correlate that data with surface topography measurements. Correlation of these types of data is crucial for in situ electrochemical research, such as nanopore membrane development for biosensors and fuel cells. Pictured here are SICM topography and SECM Faraday current images, which detail a nanopore membrane surface features and its current responses as it degrees over time. This is compelling data for assessing the performance of potentially mission critical materials, such as fuel cells. Since SICM can be used to perform in situ research of samples in electrolyte solution, it can be used to investigate live cells. SICM is versatile enough to be able to perform cell topography imaging, nanobiopsies, nanoscale injection, and even targeted patch clamping. And that brings us back to the sample we will be imaging today. Collagen is the most common protein in the human body and is found in many connective tissues, including our skin. It provides a matrix for our skin which gives it strength and elasticity. Understanding the structure of collagen is a great first step in understanding why our skin behaves the way it does. Let's get everything set up and start imaging. So here is the body of the system. Down here is the active vibration isolation table. And here is the XY sample stage decoupled from the Z stage. Since both the XY scanner and Z head are motorized, moving them is as simple as making a few mouse clicks in the system's control software. Here is the SICM head used for NX10 system. The two holes are used to plug in the two electrodes and the pipette is held using a spring clip. The nano pipette is usually made of either glass or quartz. So the inner diameter of the pipette is only 100 nanometers. Here we have the two electrode. One is connected with the nano pipette and the other one is the bath electrode we put into liquid. Here is the electrolyte solution we use for our experiment, the phosphate buffer saline solution. We use one milliliter syringe and a metal needle to fill up the nano pipettes two thirds of the way up with the solution. Now let's attach the pipette to the SICM head. Lift the spring clip and slide in the pipette first and then wire the pipette to the head by plugging in the silver silver clock right electrode. When the pipette is ready, put the head back on NX10 by sliding it onto the dove tail rail and then lock it into place. Make sure there's enough space between the end of the pipette and the sample surface. Now place our collagen sample with buffer in a petri dish and put it on our sample stage. Next, we connect the sample with the head using the bath electrode. Lastly, let's put the Faraday cage back in place to prevent electrostatic interference from affecting system performance. Now, with the hardware ready and software parameters set up, 
we can go for the imaging. Here you can see the user interface for our SICM operating software, Park XCP. Let's go over the main features of this software. In the middle, we display the image we are creating. The right hand side shows the signal that we are capturing, and on the left hand side panel, set our parameters. Now, let's begin scanning the collagen sample. To save time, we have sped up the footage, and now here is a completed SICM image of the collagen sample. As shown in these images, the protein bundles as well as each individual fibril can be clearly identified in the 10 micrometer sized images at a 256 times 256 pixel resolution. Based on the fact that there is no real contact or force between the end of the pipette and the sample surface, this resolution is quite impressive. Again, SICM isn't just for biomaterials like collagen. It's extremely helpful for many types of nanoscale research of samples under in-liquid electrolyte conditions. Here is a pair of finished SICM and SECM images. Taken with the same nanopipette, these images together confirm the size and Faraday current responses of nanopores in the membrane designed for the next generation fuel cells. SICM does all this non-invasively giving researchers a truly no-force approach to gathering accurate nanoscale data from delicate samples in aqueous environments. And that completes our look at the PARC NX10 SICM system. As a leader in developing the best technology in nanoscale metrology for over 20 years, PARC Systems is committed to providing researchers everywhere with a powerful tool that will enable your nanoscale advances in a way no other competitors can match. Analytical chemistry, electrochemistry, cell biology, challenges all met by the PARC NX10 SICM, the new standard for nanotechnology imaging in aqueous environments.